This is our, our trailer. It's a uh, 2017 Voltage. It's a 3605. We bought it in, I think it was May of 2016. So we've used it for two full years and we do a lot of camping in it. Um, but we, towards the end of last year, honestly, and then when I dewinterized it and came out here to start getting it ready for the next camping season, both of the major slides, the, the big slide and then the kitchen slide, were just buffeting like crazy. Originally thought it was something to do with the slide out mechanism, it was out of adjustment. Uh, as I did research online, found that a lot of people are having problems with what's called the wear bar on these newer trailers. Let's kind of show you real quick what it's doing. So if you watch that kitchen slide, just notice that how much it buffets when it comes in and out. This slide, where the couch is, was even worse. Um, I put I put rollers. I, what, what I ended up doing is I contacted the company that makes the the cable slide system, and I told they put me in touch with a technician, and I told him what it was doing, and he says, well, he says most likely if it's coming in and out at the same rate, it's not it's not the cable slide system. It's he says it's most likely that you have what's called a wear bar, and I said, yep, that's exactly what I got. So he went in and he started telling me, he says, well, truly the only true fix to this is to put rollers on it. And the guy was really cool and he told me exactly how to do it. And he told me, he goes, at least put three rollers on it. So I put five just to make sure that it could support the weight and, and that it did well. And he told me exactly how to do it. And I'll kind of detail that as we do this other slide. But I just want to show you that I did have success with this. <laughs> Like I said, it was buffeting worse than that one. And now it comes in pretty smooth, which is which is very nice. I'm sure that any of you that are experiencing this same problem are pretty frustrated the fact that you spent a lot of money on a toy hauler trailer or any other trailer with this wear bar and you're experiencing difficulty with your slides and they are buffeting like that. It, it is frustrating. So we'll go ahead and go outside and I'll and I'll start the process as to how to to hopefully fix it for you. So basically the technician I talked to told me that, and this is this is the wear bar, it's the piece that I cut out of the other. The slide out actually runs across that, and you can see that this one's getting, got a lot of marks in it. Um, basically on the bottom side of my slide, and I guess this is fairly common, they put a fabric called Darko. And obviously the Darko and this wear bar are not meshing very well after they've been worn a bit, so. I mean, it's really, I mean, I can understand the system, the fact that it seals really well with, it's got a wiper and then the slide goes across there and it bolts or screws into the side of the trailer. So it does a pretty good job of sealing the bottom side of the slide. It just has some issues. Anyway, so the uh, technician told me to get some rollers that were just roughly an eighth inch taller than what the uh, wear bar was and to make sure that it's, it's an L bracket so that you can slip this inside and then put screws from the side otherwise you have to remove the slide to be able to get screws from the top like some of the other rollers are so I found that at um, um, Lippert, Lippert however you say their name they're roughly 20 bucks a piece and on this slide here I'm going to put four rollers because it's got the fridge and the stove and some other things that are a little bit heavy so that's going to be the process from there if you look up underneath here you can see that uh, fabric is called Darko and you can probably see that it's, you can see the wear that it has from running across that wear bar. So the idea from here is to lift this slide up high enough that you can get, you know, a, a saw. And I'm using a, a sawzall because it cuts through this wear bar really easily. Um, I did the other slide, which just sticks out a little further, so it was a little easier. And this one's going to be, but I did it in probably an hour. And part of that was just trying to figure out how to do it in the first place. So it's really not a bad process, but it does take a little bit of time. Hey, basically, uh, I'm going to put four rollers on this one. The uh, tech told me to put them, put the, at least the two outside ones as far outside as you can. Uh, when I cut that uh, wear bar, I need to make sure I cut it wide enough for the, uh, the actual joint here. So what I've done is I've we've, we've lifted up the slide with a couple floor jacks. 
I use two by fours and then a big piece of plywood to, to balance out that weight. And that puts a pretty good gap there for me to use my Sawzall. I did buy an extra long blade just to make it a little bit easier. Um, so I've marked it in red where I need to make the cuts. Just cut down to where I'm cut through that and then I'll use a, uh, a, uh, a knife to cut the rest of that, that uh, plastic wear, um, not wear bar, but uh, wiper. So I'm going to go ahead and, and make those cuts. I'm just basically putting the saws all in here. A little bit of awkward position here. other part and that takes it out I'll just make sure it oh sorry just make sure it'll fit there which it does and now we'll pre-drill a couple holes, kind of at a little bit of an angle, because it goes down into the, the plywood flooring to try to make it a little more secure that way. So I'll do that part and we'll show you what happens. One thing that the technician told me is to use a number 12 screw. So I bought some 12 screws and let's see that was going closer. Just a good quality screw, so shouldn't have to put a bear a lot of weight, but they will have some. See, I mean, that's really all there is to it. I will buy some new wiper to run across the whole bottom just to seal it up again. But it's really, really not a hard process. It just takes a little time and a little scary cutting into your new trailers, but it's, it's pretty easy. So we've put those rollers on and this is what it does now. Nice and smooth. So, you know, it sure seems to be that that's the fix for this problem. It really wasn't that hard to do. Um, so, anyway, I hope this is helpful for you. I'm sure that there could be a better way to install it. I don't know. I'm certainly no expert. But uh, this, is, this is how I did it, and it seems to work good. So, thank you.